All right, welcome to the video. Today we're going to be playing around with the describe function. So uh, if one of the hangups you have is actual prompting, uh, you struggle with that, you never know what words to use, this is a fantastic way to get some really good results because you can let the tool, MidJourney, help you with your prompting. And I know a lot of people do that. So uh, the describe function has been around on the Discord version of MidJourney for a very long time. And that's just slash describe. And then uh, it'll, you can use that with any image and you get, uh, you get some prompt choices. So on the alpha site, which is the MidJourney web page, this is what a lot of people have moved to, uh, that hasn't been there until now. And so I wanted to walk you through, I've got three ways that you could be using this and I want to show you how to do it. It's super easy, super fascinating. And so you're going to want to stick around and watch all three. So let me show you something. So first off, you can't do it with the enlarged version because it won't work. You got to use the smaller thumbnail and all you have to do is right click and you'll get this uh, control panel here that pops up and click describe image. Now what this does is uh, it gives you your thumbnail and then it gives you four versions of the prompt that it thinks it has, right? And then you can run each of these individually or you could just click right here, run all prompts, which is what we're gonna do. So the beauty of this, especially if you're kind of playing around and you wanna see what's going on, uh, you can get uh, the results pretty quickly and you can see, do they match our original guy? So we got the orange background. We got, it got little kind of Batman horns there. I don't know what's up with that. Um, but you get a very similar look um, and it's kind of a kind of a cool thing. Now these are all different, uh, but we're getting we're getting some good results, right? So that's one way that you could use this. And of course, we can always change the prompt. We can edit it. We can get what we want. We can make it work. We can you know edit or whatever, right? So that I'm not worrying about that. You know how to do that. So let's show you the next way that you could use the describe function. And that's with the Explore tab. So let's just type in Viking and we're to get some results. And what we wanna do is just like with our other thumbnails, let's find one that we really like, uh, maybe something a little different than what we had before. Uh, let's do, um, I don't know, this one. So we just hit Describe Image. And when we go back, over here to the create page, you can see we've got our thumbnail and we've got our four prompts. Uh, and then we hit run all prompts. It's going to give us four different versions of this. And this is an easy way we can find new images and we can get something that's similar to our image in style, but looks different. And let's just check these out. Um, and so these are all uh, different with different art aesthetics and different way of looking at it. And uh, I really like that one, that's kind of cool. And so this is kind of a fun way that you can use uh, the describe function to do something. And the third way of doing this is going to be to upload an image. And so we do that just by clicking the icon here in the prompt window, and then choose a file that you have on your hard drive uh, and upload it or it could be a URL, right? And uh, so we click the uh, the I, the, the info button here. And then what this does is it gives us some prompts and these are short little phrases that we can choose, right? So we can pick, you know, a couple of these. Uh, if we want to pick the artist, we can, I'm not going to do that. And digital illustration, let's go with uh, black eyes, has Warhammer, long braided beard, uh, wearing heavy armor, uh, with blue fog and grim, right? And uh, and then all we have to do now, if we want to, we can change, we can change some of our controls, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to hit go just to see what we get. Do we get something similar? So this is a way that you can upload an image and then you can get a result that looks kind of like the image that you uploaded, right? 
Um, and so that's three different ways that you can use the describe function. And so uh, hopefully you can get something that you like uh, and, uh, and uh, it has a good result for you. So let's, let's check these out. So anyway, so this is a really great way of getting an image, finding a prompt that works for you, which you can always change. So I've showed you three different ways that you can get started with that. So uh, get started, try it, use the describe uh, command on something today and just see what you get. Uh, if you got any questions or comments or anything, uh, drop that in the comments section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our Mid-Journey Experience newsletter. We uh, publish weekly, 12 bucks a month with tips and tricks just like this to, for you to learn how to use Mid-Journey better. So anyway, thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.